Surf and Curious. My name is Renee Garcia Gaz, and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today on Trans Surfing TV, we're gonna do a little Q&A action. Finally getting to it. Man, you guys submitted some awesome questions and I'm super excited to dive into it. These questions are very like all over the place. <laughs> And there, uh, some of them are very, like, very nuancy, really getting in there to some of the transferring concepts. And a few of the questions I glanced at, I was like, whoa, I've never even considered this. So I love this kind of stuff because it helps me to really get my, my brain going as well. So I'm going to answer some of the questions today. There were a lot of them, and I'm not going to attempt to do it today, but if you did not hear me answer your question, tune in for the next one of these. There's probably gonna be about five or six of these videos. Before I get started, remember to like and subscribe and comment and do all this stuff below. There is Facebook links and Twitter and Instagram and Discord and Telegram and Patreon. <laughs> Oh my God, I am like, you know, it's so odd for me to be in this position now because believe it or not, up until about 36 years old, five years ago, I didn't have a single social media account. I was one of those freaks that had zero social media. Actually, I take that back. I had one Instagram account for one of my businesses and that was it. So this has been a very interesting um, experience for me. But hey, at least I've proven to myself that I can venture into very distant sectors of the alternative space. One where I have social media, so pretty interesting. But yeah, all the links are below, courses, everything that you may possibly desire but please support us by liking and clicking and following. All right, so let's get right into it. Question number one, Camille Scott. Tell us about the plate. Is it like a mental muscle that we have to build up? Can I walk or jog while I activate this? What should I be visualizing at the same time? My slide? A lot of moving parts, but I want to master this one. Okay, so in my Tufty 2.0 course, I give a very advanced lesson on the plate. And this was a real learning experience for me to build this course. And also the seminar for the International um, Academy for Personal Development, the seminar that I did in Egypt at the beginning of the year. And I gave an advanced plate lesson, which I had to do a bunch of research because I wanted to sort of hit it from more than one perspective, which is Vadim Zeeland's in Tufty Live Stroll Through a Movie. So in Tufty Live Stroll Through a Movie, for those of you that have not read it yet, Vadim Zeeland specifically focuses on activating your plate while you're running that end frame, your future goal, your slide, your intention, what it is you want to see materialize, you're doing, you're, you're living in that experience, in that state of being, visualizing it with your plate activated. And this is pretty awesome. It's highly effective, it's simple, it works, and it's, it's very like, it's a very crucial part of the Tufty modality if you wanna follow these concepts and create your own reality. This is a very small fraction of how the plate can be used and for what. I have a video coming out soon that talks about some of the oddball things that you can do while running your plate, such as having sex or participating with a vice or waking yourself up in a moment where you're feeling triggered and sucked into the pendulum's vortex and all sorts of other little ways in which you can use the plate to 
create a more comprehensive reality for yourself with extended practice or change your current experience of reality in the moment with a more localized use of the plate, if that makes sense. So I like to activate my plate when I am doing my, my live stroll in the morning. This is me exercising and at the same time doing my plate work and my visualizing of my different frames and setting myself up for my day. I have a pretty, I don't want to say it's an elaborate practice, but it's a practice that it has taken me at least a couple of years to cultivate. And it is really, really wildly effective for me. So this is kind of my hybrid of these different concepts, Tufty concepts, plate work, reality transurfing stuff, and sort of molding it all together to come up with a technique that I feel brings me massive amounts of success. So this is what I suggest for any of you that are looking to use the plate or any of these concepts or techniques, play with them, work with them, put them at, you know, join them together, make your own little system and don't be afraid to try new things to find out specifically what works for you. This is ideal. Okay, question two. You recently said focus on the process, not the goal. And I wonder how this relates or if it contradicts other teachers like Neville Goddard who say to live in the end. Thank you. Okay, so I know this is kind of one of these things where it seems like reality transurfing can be a little bit contradictory at times. Vadim Zeeland will say in the book, don't focus on, don't focus on the end, focus on the process. But then he'll say, don't focus on the means to achieve the goal. And I think a little bit is lost in translation here. So I will definitely break it down because I do totally understand exactly what it is he is talking about. So you want to embody that version of you that lives in that version of reality on that lifeline that has what it is you want. So whatever my goal is, I want a million dollars. That's not my goal, but let's use it because it's a really easy one to understand. So I try to envision as much as I possibly can now now I have limited information and limited ability, but that doesn't matter because my world's gonna help me fill in those blanks. But I'm going to try to imagine what it feels like to be a millionaire, what a millionaire thinks like, what a millionaire feels like, what a, what a millionaire does, what a, how a millionaire problem solves, whatever, whatever attributes I can attach to the state of being mindset and activities of a millionaire, I'm going to try to embody that now. Now, that's not going to get me from point A to point B. That is going to help me attract what it is I need to attract in order to actually materialize that version of reality. Because if you're living in that state of being now, your world's going to respond to it. So when your world does respond with something that's going to help you, information, opportunities, um, different variations of events playing out that are in line with this state of being you've adopted, then this, this is the means in which you are going to achieve your goal. Now, you don't have to look for that stuff. That stuff is going to find you if you are living as if, like Neville Goddard says, right? So then comes the action. So if just living as if isn't gonna get you there and just your world coming to you with what it is you need to actually facilitate progress towards that version of you, that's not going to solely get you there, then what is going to get you there? Well, what is going to get you there is 
the process, the actions specifically that you'll take to move yourself down those frames. So again, resonate with the state of being. I am the millionaire. I think like the millionaire. I, I have the frequency of a millionaire. I'm, I'm thinking all, all the things like a millionaire does. Then I attract different parts of that layer of reality that are going to help me actually facilitate that movement. But to facilitate that movement, I have to fuse my action with what it is my world brings to me. That's the process, right? That's the process. So you're not focusing again on the means that will come naturally, and you're not solely living in the end state of being or living as if, because that's not gonna get you there. It's the action that's going to get you there, if that makes sense. You can't sit on your couch and try to will yourself a million dollars. You can't have opportunities present themselves to you and not move on them and get the million dollars, if that makes sense. I hope I answered that question succinctly. Okay, three, do you have a group? One, Mr. Awesome. Cool name, Mr. Awesome. Do you have a group of conscious, happy friends that you can go out with who are up to speed with what you know, or at least don't frown on it? I'm trying to believe it's possible for me to allow those people to find me, but people who know they create their own reality and stuff seems to be hard to come by. But since I'm the creator of my experience, it should be possible, right? So yes, anything's possible. Absolutely. I'll be the first to admit I was a little bit lonely when I started on this amazing path as a trans surfer. There was no community in the US. There was there was no Facebook groups. Well, there were a couple little ones, but they weren't really active or had any value in my opinion. There wasn't a thriving community. And no, I, I didn't even know anyone that had ever even heard of reality transurfing. So there were no resources, there was no community, there was no conversations. And for me, I decided to make one for myself. And that's what the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group is. It's a place where we can all engage and have conversations about this uh, awesome modality. But I don't really have like physical friends. <laughs> I mean, I have friends, but um, my friends all live in different parts of the world and different parts of the U.S. Because I don't just hang out with people to hang out with people. I'm very, very particular about who I give energy to and who I want energy from. And, you know, I just haven't found a lot of people in my actual physical reality that meets the criteria. So I, I enjoy my friends that I text with and call on the phone, get to see them a couple times of the year. And uh, the, the Facebook community and the transurfing community, uh, I take what I can get and I'm more than happy with it. But yes, you should absolutely, especially if you live in a big city, you should be able to access some people that are transurfers. And good luck on that. Okay, for Emma. Hello, Emma. Is it possible to imagine positive reality for someone? But does it have any effect? I want to see someone successful. Is there anything I can do to influence a positive shift in their reality, please? So you absolutely can invite someone into a version of reality that you have created in your mind that you believe would benefit them and then be a source of support and encouragement. But one thing that I've learned about reality transurfing is you really can't transurf someone else's will. You can transurf all different kinds of stuff in life, money and cars and jobs and stuff and adventure, all different sorts of material type of gains but transurfing another person's will. So success and true self-development is complex and it takes time, but most of all, it takes dedication. The person has to really want that for themselves. And then yes, you could bring your transurfing skills and definitely help them in materializing that version of who they are and that life track. But if they don't want it, it's going to be kind of 
you know, useless to try because you can't just override another person's will with your own. Okay, Augmender, I hope I said your name right. By the way, I'm sorry if I mispronounce anybody's name. I know we have a lot of people from all over the world, so I will give it my best. Sometimes I hear that only beliefs that you really believe come true. What about those beliefs that you wish you believed would come true, but maybe somewhere in those complex layers you believe you are not good enough and you know is BS, but it's still there in the subconscious. How to bridge this gap of faith, walk to the mailbox like Vadim was talking about. Is it about slides, lifelines, maybe just look away from that crappy belief and choosing a higher version of yourself? Okay, so here's the thing with our world, our what we have available to us. It is absolutely a belief of mine that I hold that as human beings, we all have access to everything equally and energetically as everyone else. We all obtain the ability to access certain things in life. Now, some of us have some easier circumstances and some of us have some more challenging circumstances, but it doesn't mean that there is not a path. Now, this path is really a maze with your mind. The people that are successful have less a less complex maze. Their beliefs and limiting beliefs and thoughts about themselves and their reality support an easier time through that path to that goal. The person that's struggling with a lot of limiting beliefs and feelings of low self-worth and self-doubt and all that stuff, their path is much more complex. And in fact, it's so complex, and I'm sure you have had an experience where you went and did one of these real life mazes and you get yourself to a place where you feel like you're trapped and you're like, wait a second, I can't figure it out. I don't know which way to go. This is exactly how the mind is in regards to the belief structure. So working on expanding the walls of your belief system creates more space in your physical reality so you can move about more greatly and access some of the different things you need to access in order for you to achieve success. Also, expanding the walls of your belief system allows in a lot more as well. So it's all about working on what it is you tell yourself on a daily basis. For me, my forward and up version of thinking rather than my downward and back version of thinking is what's done it for me. When I think about what I don't like, what I don't want, what isn't working, what hasn't worked, what's fucked up, what seems impossible, I don't get anywhere. I'm not worth it, I don't deserve it, I can't, all that kind of stuff. Instead of trying to manage or battle myself in this mode of thinking like this or changing anything in this mode, I just operate in a different mode, which is focusing on what is working, what I do like, what I can do, what I do have access to, what I am good at. And in really diving in to this forward and up version of thinking, my world then makes way for my belief, my belief box to sort of expand. And the more I do that sort of stuff, the more my world gives to me that will help me to go even beyond what I previously was able to, if that makes sense. So this is what works for me. Yes, you have access to everything, just the same as anyone else. It's just your means to get there. The only limitations that you really have, any of us, are our minds. Everything is out there. It's our mind that keeps us from it. So work on the thoughts. 
six, and I will wrap it up with this. Xavier Watercane, oh cool, what does Xavier have to ask? You have 60 seconds to tell your 20 year old self something that will change the whole course of her life for the better. What do you say? Oh my God, this is really good and it's really powerful. Let me think about it just for a second. Um, okay, so let's see if I can go 60 seconds. First of all, Renee, 21-year-old Renee, <laughs> you're a fucking idiot right now. You have very, very, very limited information. And I don't need to actually tell you how to change the course of events from your 21-year-old perspective moving forward over 20 years because it's already happening. Try to lower your levels of importance all the things that you have around you now that you believe are permanent fixtures in your life are all going to be gone. And in place is going to be much bigger and better and more beautiful things. So let go of those things with ease. Don't hold on so tightly. You do not want any of that stuff. I promise you that. <laughs> What you are going to have in the future is infinitely better and it's all about letting go of that stuff and parts of yourself so you can evolve and your life can evolve and 20 years from now, your life is going to be absolutely fucking amazing. So just hang in there, keep going and go easy on yourself. I don't know how long that was, but... I hoped it I hope it helped you 21 year old Renee. <laughs> Good questions guys. I'm going to do a few more of these videos and get to everybody else's questions and we'll keep going. Thanks for thanks for contributing with a question and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.